Hey, YouTube, what's going on? There, there was a year, 2020, that just happened. Oh, and what it, a year it was. It was known for many things, I think. Many. Most of all, probably this show. Yeah. There were many episodes. It mm -hmm. still happened, and it was as funny as ever. So we have prepared a little video. Well, not we. I mean, I, I don't do a lot of work around here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, some of our, uh, our our staff have put together a video of our funniest moments. Our crack team. <laughs> our crack team. And we wanted to share them with you. So enjoy the 2020 highlight video. Welcome to the Fantasy Footballers Podcast with your hosts, Andy Holloway, Jason Moore, and Mike Wright. Oh, welcome in. It's football time! Hey! 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 Yeah! Hey! Yeah! Welcome into the show. It's football time. Hey! The Judge Giamatti, Al Borland. Oh. Did you join in? Were you a part oh, of that? Oh, they were in. Oh, yeah. Okay. Everybody's in. It is. This is... The most triumphant and glorious return of football that any of us has oh, ever my experienced. Goodness. It's really true. This is the biggest first day of football yes. since the first day of football. And honestly, that probably. And was, when was that? What was that date? That was uh, that date? 1918. It was just <laughs> before the war, see? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Why'd you turn into an old timey reporter? Well, I mean, if it's nineteen, that's how they talk back then, Mike. Hey, uh, I mean, Phil Rivers is. I still think Phil Rivers has it. Clearly, you've shortened his name. Mm -hmm. Well, he he had to rebrand. Oh, he's Phil now. He to me in he Indianapolis, he's Phil. <laughs> very much needed a rebrand based on last year. He's actually shortened it even more just now. He's now P River. Hmm, that's not great. He no, like, you don't want to pee in the river. <laughs> His marketing team, they're still working on it, but that's where he is right now. Right now, P. Rivers. Hmm. No, I, I, I shortened it to P. River. Oh, he, I'm his marketing you're, team. You, you, have, didn't, you have changed <laughs> his last name as well. But that means he's P. River. That's not a good nickname. No, he's P. The P. River. River. That's a you great nickname. You want to go for a swim in the P. River? I don't. And you know what? I think that's an appropriate nickname, if I'm being honest. <laughs> not, not, not a lot of fish are living in P. River. That's for sure. YouTube question, Adam Gaze or Jar Jar Binks? <laughs> oh, man. Misa want Jar Jar. Oh, Misa love Jar Jar. I would, I would have him be. Oh, come on. I genuinely would have him be my best friend. I'm walking my kids through all of the Star Wars movies. I just watched the prequels a couple weeks ago. How'd that go? Oh, man. How'd that go? Oh, man. So who are you, cho who are you choosing, Mike? Oh, Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's the one major concern with my potential 2020 Mark Andrews. Um, wanted to make him a my guy. Too scary. Chris Herndon. <laughs> Chris Herndon tight Why end. Why is it scary to make the starting tight end for the Jets a my guy, Andy? Because of his head coach. I've got a little drop I'm going to try out for, oh, oh, for, for, his, for his head coach. Okay. You ready? Number two. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, baby. I can hear Al Borland from across <laughs> the studio. You wanted me to be patient with the drop. Yes. You thought I was going to jump in before the finish. I knew you were going to jump in. I wasn't this time. Oh, you, you were ready. No, I was good. All right. I was good, but I thought you had another piece of news for us. That's what I thought. Yeah, the, the news was Andy about to look foolish talking <laughs> over the music. <laughs> Why do I do that? Is that because on Spitballers podcast, sometimes yes. we don't have a finisher? Yeah. I mean, it's some So that's your fault. Look. Consistency. It's, it's not about consistency. The art does what the art has to do. <laughs> great. Great. You, uh, that's such a great oh, that's response a good line. because you can't, you can't critique <laughs> art, right? No. I, mean, it's, I mean, you can, the but art it's all does subjective. what the art wants to do. <laughs> I am the vessel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't handle it. I can't take it. Ah, oh, welcome in. It's mock draft time. Hey, hey, hey. 
Got a little shimmy out of Jason over here. Oh, I'm jacked, man. I, or a big shimmy, I a should big, say. I was gonna say he Any was shimmy a, from Jason is a big shimmy. It's a big shimmy. <laughs> That's why they call Which him the big now shimmy. Your new nickname. <laughs> the big shim. <laughs> the big oh, shimmy. Big shimmy. <laughs> oh, man. He's cut. Then he was traded for. What's the current status, Andy? He's now a dolphin again. He's been reverted <laughs> back to the dolphins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Busting out a slide what, whistle. Where, 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 where have you been hiding that thing? It's Velcroed under the table, my friends. The big shimmy slide whistle. Unbelievable. <laughs> the big, the big shimmy is chapping our hides right now. I'm at pick nine. On, <laughs> I heard uh, Judge Giamatti. <laughs> Uh, big fan of the Big Shimmy nickname, Judge. <laughs> oh, I love it. You love it. Okay. J- Jason is he's laughing, but he's also realizing what uh, his uh, future holds on Twitter. Hey, I, I've got thick skin, if you know what I mean. <laughs> We've distanced ourselves from your old double stuff nickname. Yeah. So what do you think of Big Shimmy? Look, it's uh, it's shiny to me, so it's new. It's <laughs> it's nice, and and I can and now I've got a power move. I'm in. Give me that big shimmy. <laughs> Yet not only is a name, it's also a signature it's move. It's also a That's move. Right. That's right. This is this is incredible. I'm I'm envious. Yeah, and we if can. If you didn't have it, I would be taking the name Big Shimmy, but it's too late. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's too late. already claimed. Yeah. Ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, <laughs> fantasy hit man. You have a nickname that we can gift. <laughs> we can gift your nickname. Um, oh, today, this is- well, today is a bad day. <laughs> today. today <laughs> Welcome. I love that. I'm going to take your guy, Terry McLaurin. That's a great pick. And uh, so that I'm, is a great pick. <laughs> thank you. I'm pretty happy with the 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 triad of wide receivers: Galladay, Tyler Lockett, Terry McLaurin. That's is pretty awesome. That's pretty hot. I've got Christian with McCaffrey, McCaffrey and Lamar Jackson. All right. Have you perked up? Have you risen out of your? I'm kill back, ball? baby. Oh <laughs> yeah, big shimmy, big shimmy time. We had a very funny moment in the draft, uh, in our family draft, where I've. I've really, as much as I can, I've turned over all the picks to my son, who's never played fantasy. So he was pining for one of his favorite players, Emmanuel Sanders, in the second round. I had to at least be like, eh, we don't need to do that right right Just now. Tap the brakes. But one of his fa- favorite players is Fuller V, ah. as, as he calls him. Because, so Will Fuller V? So he knows players <laughs> because of Madden, and he's not familiar with that's Fuller the fifth. No, oh, so, he, so he is. He's the flying V. Fuller so V. He is, he is Fuller V, <laughs> and now he is apparently the flying V. The flying because V. Because that's what he does. The V will fly down the field, and now I feel like I have to take him. It's you not know, a bad pick. I'm talking him up so much. One of your favorite sleepers, Antonio Gibson, went next. Mm, I was. I could say this. Do you feel some regret? Wouldn't could, you rather have him on your team? I could say this for sure because I was already I was already looking. I expected Gibson to be able to come to my next pick, and there was no chance he was getting back to you, Mike. None, because Gibson was my pick. My, ah! Mike's, yes, he's Mike's so face is the face of a man who has Tevin Coleman instead of Antonio Gibson oh. on his roster. Oh, he's so sad. Tevin I'm not happy. Coleman. Oh, man. You know, it's great when you can love someone and still be so happy for their sadness. Yeah. I love you, Mike, but yeah, did, uh, your sadness brings me great, great joy. That's what me and Hollywood think about you, Jay. Oh, I don't like you, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are going to get into the waivers. Now, uh, before we do that, we, we've had some curiosity here at the studio. <laughs> uh, we, we've, you know, sometimes we get oh. in here in the morning, you know, and it, it's darker out now. Yeah. You, it's tougher to wake up. You guys are throwing the coffee back in the morning. And we made the joke. We're like, you should probably get some smelling salts because mm-hmm. you see them on the sidelines oh, in the yeah. NFL games, and we are athletes of our own, right? Yes, we are in our own, right? We are vocal athletes. That's so right. Al Borland has uh, <clears throat> acquired some smelling salts for us, <laughs> and this is a pretty big waiver. <laughs> this is a really important show. Pretty big waiver show. Yeah, get hyped. You All guys right. want to get it? Yeah, okay. get Al little... Borland, can you give us oh, a – Oh, I, I snapped it. Oh, the premature snap. Oh, Owl. that's not a premature give snap. Us a, give us a three count, Owl. Holy – <laughs> Ready? Three, two, oh, one. Oh, 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 golly. Oh, oh moly. Oh, I'm riding the lightning, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, it's waiver time. Put me in, coach. Oh, baby. Mike. Let me tell you all of the waivers that you need. 
<laughs> Mike's, oh. Mike's eyes are are Woo. watering. Woo! Uh, that was um, that was intense. I gotta get back in. Woo! <laughs> my my yeah. sinuses are clear. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. brother. Well, that's why th- those do. Uh, it's a different experience than I expected. Yeah. How okay. painful is it for you to have to now call him Tunyon? Is that it's difficult? Nope, not at all. No, oh, okay. see, it's super difficult for me. Is it? It's it feels all sorts of wrong. Uh, is there any chance that we need to correct Tunyon about his own pronunciation? Yeah, there is definitely a chance. Let we, it, we are we verified on Twitter. Go to ancestry dot com. Maybe they give uh, <laughs> you know some uh, breakdowns of how yeah, surnames have from. been said. Because mm-hmm. it can't be Tunyon. It's T O N. Come on, man. Learn to read is it's what I'll T-O-N, tell It's T-O-N, the word ton. Yeah. It can't be Tunyon because the the word ton is oh, spelled man. T-O-N. Oh, man. Oh, into the body bag with you. Oh, oh, oh. How do, do you normally mispronounce? Oh, man, that thing weighs a ton. Well, I mean, the name Tanya is T-O-N, and it's Tanya. It's not Tanya. I stand by it, but you have made me look like a fool. Oh, man, that's a good time. Someone's coming to the rescue at the tight end position? Someone is coming to the rescue at the tight end position. He's oh. my start of the week, and he is the biggest waiver wire pickup this week. I know week. who it is. Is Jordan freaking Reed, man. He is healthy. Who He's picked coming him off up? a bye. Did you? No. No, did you really? <laughs> no, you didn't, Mike. You're darn right I did. <laughs> no, I assume nobody did. I was going to spend all my bad <laughs> Oh, uh, well, I, no, because I picked him up. Was that <laughs> yeah. your uh, Sunday morning <laughs> Sunday morning pickup? That is my Sunday morning pickup. When you drop Big Ben? That is correct. And you didn't even <laughs> flex it yesterday? You waited for the show? Oh, my goodness. I had no idea, Mike. <laughs> I'm so upset right now. Well, if it makes you feel better, I paid zero dollars. It Why does. don't I have a boom shakalaka <laughs> button right here? Oh my god. That is I need that. I need the boom shot. That was a boom shakalaka dunk. I can't believe and you, know you what, Mike, have him. Mike did everything he was supposed to do to make you pay for that decision. Oh man. That was exactly how it's supposed to go. I was so excited for this whole week. I've literally been into the Thursday dock already and started <laughs> deleting out starts so I could put in Jordan Reed because he is my guy this so week. Your start of the week is is Mike starting tight end? Oh my goodness! Is that what I heard? But this would be a situation where I would not expect Hollywood, even though he's clearly furthest down in the ADP. If you're playing that, like Willie come Terry's back. higher. Marquise will I, absolutely make it back. I, Stone Cold lot. Put it on the board. Okay, I don't <laughs> like an instant <laughs> water bet. Instant water bet. Our water first, bet. our first ever. We're gonna know who wins this water bet on this show in about. 30 seconds. Yeah. Owl, you need to go fill a cup of water yeah, go right get a now. Cup. Oh, are we doing it on the show? Okay. Why not? It's going down your back. It's definitely going down your back. What have okay, you done? That's fine. Uh, or Jason's. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Now, All wait, right. who's on what side of the bed? So I'm, I'm betting saying- that Hollywood will make it back to our next pick. And I'm saying he won't. Here we go. Oh, Let's no. find out. Oh, he's off the Yes. Oh, guy. I've never, <laughs> ever been so happy to have a guy I love go Dang off it. the board. See, when you're in your real drafts and you're worried, you need to make a bet so that Either way, you're happy. Just go pour it on him. Mind the electronics. Yeah, Al. <laughs> I have a laptop here, so you better watch yourself. This is where you can pause the show. Go to YouTube.com slash Fantasy Football. I'm not looking forward to this. Oh. At all. I mean, this, it's very chilly in this office. Here Stone comes Cold Al. Lock. Yeah, all right. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the water's oh, going shit. down. Oh, man. That was a large cup. It is still being poured. My butt crack. Oh. All right. So, needless to say, now that I'm all wet. Um, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, and it's <laughs> pooling beneath me. Our first ever on air water pad. Oh my gosh, I don't feel comfortable. Jason Moore's Ironclad, Locked and Loaded, 100% guaranteed boom boom kicker of the week. If you're wanting to fly in a fantasy football rocket ship, then strap on them goggles with the Colts Rodrigo Blankenship. You left me hanging there for a second. All right, so, I, I was I was just so caught off guard. So so to be clear, because I I want to break this down. <laughs> I know you do. I could see it in your face. That's why I didn't hit Let's the dive button. deep. Okay, rocket ship, rocket ship. 
blanken ship. Ship. So you rhymed ship with ship, ship with ship. You didn't. You couldn't. You couldn't find something to match the the initial vowel sound. I think you're you burying just, the lead here. It's really all about flying with goggles. No, okay? I, I loved that. This, I love the. I love a theme. I love when it all comes together like that. But I. I. Believe. I also like you not taking a layup. <laughs> oh man, this. But is... you crashed the ship, bro. <laughs> oh, just just you wait. Strap on the goggles. Watch if you haven't seen. Oh, he's great. He wears goggles. Yeah. <laughs> so it's so it's a perfect rhyme. Rocket ship, blanket ship. It's a comfy cruise when you take a blanket on a ship. So I'm going back on vacation with Rodrigo Blankenship. <laughs> yeah. Give me them goggles. Like, look, was it Mike, a better? Was it home run? Mike, like, what's worse? What just happened? Or, or Zach the Ertz? fact that he was excited oh. about it? Oh, so I'm thrilled. I mean, this was he, his, yesterday. He was bubbling with excitement. His joy brings me joy. Yeah. And, yeah. And honestly, if if you heard someone you using that like in a freestyle, if there was a beat going on underneath that, it would be allowed. It's a comfy crew. When you take a blanket on a ship. So I'm going back on vacation with Rodrigo Blankenship. Ah, oh, welcome in. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Foot Clan. <laughs> Cliff Kingsbury, Adam Gase, Rodrigo Blankenship, welcoming you to another episode of the Fantasy Footballers Podcast. It's me, everyone. Oh, Glad to be here. Super excited. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please don't do the whole show that way, Adam. Adam, I know you can't help yourself. Oh, stop it. If A.J. Dillon starts getting on the field more than we expect, that's something that will throw uh, question marks into the brains sure. of fantasy football players everywhere when they're going into their drafts and they're trying to appropriate value to Aaron Jones based on what he did last. Well, and it's it's goal line. Like AJ yes. Dillon could do nothing. He could he could just come in and uh was was that uh on Chicago Michael Bush? Yeah. Yes. Am I remembering oh, yeah. that right with yes. the, the Matt Forte years? AJ Villain. For oh, Aaron, for Aaron oh, Jones. That's oh good. no. Oh, he's totally AJ Villain if he's a vulture. Yeah. Yeah, oh, he could do some bad things. So good. That's a good one. I, and and I think he'd be into that. Like if oh. I'm AJ Dillon and the people are calling me that, yeah. I'm, I'm in on that we one. We have not yet had a supervillain as part of the fantasy <laughs> footballers experience. This could be really good for our platform here. Yeah, this is key for 2020. When you're outside of those top, you know, three or four tight ends on the week, Hunter Henry should be good to go. Now, do we, with the way that we pronounce Justin Herbert's name, Oh, of, of Justin Herbert. Do we is need this Hunter Henry? <laughs> that's that's where I was going. So I'm glad you tracked yeah. Hunter Henry. Hunter yeah. Henry. I feel like he just became a Viking instantaneously. <laughs> Hunter, Hunter, come forth, Hunter. Fetch the meat, Hunter. <laughs> Fetch the meat, Hunter. Come forth. Accept your start of the week. I don't know, man. So we we will just start right with that because everybody wants to know. How are the fantasy footballers doing with the news of the big trade? We're doing pretty well, And Mike. let me tell you this. We're doing freaking awesome, man. Oh, <laughs> let's pop some champagne. <laughs> oh, Jason is attempting his best to actually... <laughs> I didn't hit you, Mike. Oh. If you want to join this party, youtube.com slash the fantasy footballers. Ooh. But look, here's the deal. The Cardinals have acquired DeAndre Hopkins. What did it cost, Mike? <laughs> Nothing, Jason. <laughs> That's right. A little <laughs> cheer. <laughs> Clink. Oh, bottoms up. Mm, yes. It's party time, America. <laughs> so, look, Arizona Cardinal fans, we are, we're delighted. Schefter reporting the Houston Texans are going to pay all of David Johnson's salary. Not yeah, I thought we were going to cover half of it at least. No, they're going to take the whole salary. So now it's just a matter of well, what did we have to give up? Yes, to get David Johnson off uh, and hit, and that contract off the roster. And then I think it was about 10 to 15 minutes later. Oh, 
DeAndre Hopkins became an Arizona Cardinal. All we gave up was a second round pick for him, baby. That's what Muhammad Sanu got. That's what Hayden Hurst got. Oh my goodness, we got DeAndre Hopkins. The Broncos at four and eight take on the Carolina Panthers at four and eight. I think there's some some secret juice hidden in this matchup. All right. Uh, number one, I like the Carolina Panthers' defense against <laughs> Drew Locke and his irresponsible ways on the football field. Isn't that field. the best way to put – let's just keep that narrative going. Drew Locke is irresponsible. Oh, he's super irresponsible. <laughs> he is irresponsible with the football. Who he didn't flush the toilet? It was Drew Locke. Drew Locke. Drew, Drew Locke didn't flush. Drew Locke has never once put the milk back in the fridge. Not one time in his or life. The, nor the lid. Oh, the lid is over and on the other And he left the door open. You're darn right. <laughs> I mean, it's thank it's, goodness it beeps. If it didn't beep, it would all be bad. Yeah, he's irresponsible, and and you know what? Tough to trust people that are irresponsible That's with right. your fantasy playoffs. So here's here's I'm on the way to my garage. I'm taking something into my garage. I open. He's on a journey to the garage. I'm, oh, I'm on a journey, and I open the garage door, and as I open it, holding this box, um, something. Sc- scurries in very fast into the house into the house right at my feet something scurries into your house <laughs> just <laughs> beelines for my feet and i am screaming yeah oh, i can ah! see this and then i <laughs> jump and i land on my knees and i'm running back to the couch so i run back to the couch where my wife is and she's worried i'm worried i'm like i think a rat just came in Ooh. anyways we spend about 45 seconds trying to get the I literally was standing on my couch at this point. Anyways, I I finally work my way back over to the garage door to try to look and see what happens. It was it was a, it was a wrapper. <laughs> it was a it was a wrapper that was left on the ground in in my garage and when I opened the door it blew in. It was a M&M ice cream cookie wrapper uh from one of my children. So I injured myself oh. and made a fool of myself because that. of a rapper. One of our producers, Brooks, Sir Drips a lot back yes. there. Just, yeah. just gems. I mean, like the the cold storage of Bitcoin that Brooks has yeah. in his in his home. I don't know how he has room to do anything. Yeah, we else. don't even pay him. He's one of the wealthiest men alive. Yeah, he does this for fun. Yeah, and he, but he protects all that stuff at his home with Simply Safe. Let me ask. Let me ask if another person that didn't win in all their leagues brooks <laughs> yeah you had a very promising start oh, to no. the dynasty league as well how are you feeling today i'm all right you're all right just Bro- all right yeah look when when you're when people call you sir drips a lot because you're just swimming in in a uh, high-priced you, art jewelry all the time yeah. and jewelry like you, you can bounce He's back. into art too Oh, yeah, anything that's of value, he collects. Yeah. Does he have a bunch of those, like, the glass sculptures that sit out on the pedestal? You know those? The, are they super expensive, Andy? Yeah, they're yeah. super then expensive. yes, he has Like them. Fabergé eggs. I've never seen so many Fabergé eggs in my life. Brooks pays a lot for private school for his kids, and he doesn't even have any kids. <laughs> that's right. He just <laughs> he wants to support. He wants to support certain yeah. schools he believes in because yeah. education and the children are the future. He even, is, yeah, he is a philanthropist. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. It makes me feel good. Yeah, it, that what's, level what's of Scrooge crazy, McDuck. What's crazy is that the, oh, he keeps all the Fabergé eggs in a Fabergé egg room. You walk yes, into yes. the egg. It's a really oh, impressive. It's an egg-shaped room. It's an egg-shaped room. That's right. Wow. See, we were confused when you and your uh, fiancé got that place. You had a couple extra bedrooms, but now the Fabergé eggs makes yes, sense. Yes, yes. So you're doing okay, though, because of all of your wealth? Exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Good lesson here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. A good lesson for life. <laughs> money. For, for Glenn, if you're sad, just get a bunch of money. Oh, my gosh. Oh, thank you for that hot tip there, Judge Giamatti. Mo money, no problems. <laughs> this is what Brooks That's says. That's the famous saying. <laughs> yes. I remember that one. Sure. I mean, it wasn't Sunday night football. That's for sure. Sunday night football really capped the week. I mean, I Should was. Should we recap that game again? Let's do it. That <laughs> game was great. Stand by. Oh, <laughs> Sunday night football. So much better than Monday. <laughs> uh, the Bears games. Bears games are boring. Well, I, I don't know if they're boring, man, because once or twice a game. Yeah! <laughs> Mike is throwing cards in honor of Matt Nagy. Mike never comprehends that, like, 
the podcasters don't know what he's doing. I That's why I narrated. I'm playing for the camera, man. And I think that Brashad Perryman, if he's the last man standing of sorts, I mean, Jamison Crowder limited at practice. Denzel Mims, like you said, could be an opportunity there. Oh, it's Chris Herndon season. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 man. Oh, good one. Oh, that was the best one we've ever had, Mike. Wow. <laughs> man, you just came, come up with that? That was good. Oh, oh, that's a, man. Chris, oh, oh, man. I laughed right. to keep from crying. This could be an offense that really. Yeah, but they have Chris Herndon. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to episode 1000 of the Fantasy Footballers Podcast with your hosts, Andy Holloway, Jason Moore, and Mike Wright. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome in. 1000 shows. Wow! <laughs> We're under assault! Oh my goodness! Whee! Somehow my mug made it through <laughs> unscathed. Mine didn't. Oh yeah! You gotta Welcome go to YouTube. Welcome into the show, the one thousandth episode of the podcast. I am now drinking confetti from my mug. What a crazy ride this first thousand episodes has been. Oh. <laughs> Not Spontaneous over. congratulations. Surprise! It's the wise. <laughs> Guys, a thousand episodes. I can't believe it. Amazing. Pretty Do you bananas. remember when they were squished in that tiny upstairs bedroom, Caleb's bedroom, it smelled like feet. I baked <laughs> cookies way too many times. Just so you all know, Foot Clan, the footballers you see are the footballers we are at home. <laughs> oh with. yeah, Andy dances Minus, like a bird. My home clothes. Jason, oh, Jason. Oh, yeah, Jason gosh. is in his underwear. 90, 98 percent. So they the are genuinely. That's who they are. Yeah. Each of us has our own little football player in the family. And so <laughs> so to not only have that person that they can get advice from, but it's also their dad. And they can look right. up to them and to watch that relationship grow between the boys and their dads. That's just been something that's been really special to watch, too. It's going to be really cool to see those little guys grow up to be the next yeah. fantasy footballers. <laughs> Terrifying. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. So here's to a thousand more. A We're thousand so proud more. of you guys. Congratulations. You got me. <laughs> you did it. Shut it's, it down, Al. It Shut it the down. Last one, but I am deceased. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, everybody. Oh my goodness! Congrats, you guys. Al, Judge Giamatti, the whole team. Thank you so much. Kyle Snyder, Rob, Josh, Josh everybody out there. Like, okay. Yeah. Be, oh man, that. Well, we we cannot thank you enough. Final this, show. This, uh, <laughs> a life transforming journey we have been on. It is. I mean, it's Jason's wrong. It, it's going to keep going. Maybe to three thousand. We might have to shut it down on three thousand. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Fantasy Footballers Podcast. Join our fantasy football community on jointhefoot.com and follow us on Twitter at the FF Ballers.